Hello everyone, and welcome to what is probably going to be the start of a new series on my channel. Welcome to Prey. Now this game's been out for a month or so now, and uh, ever since its release I've heard nothing but good things about this game, so I knew I had to give it a play. Um, in, in fact, literally, I, I don't think I've actually seen anything negative about this game whatsoever, and even the people that thought this was going to be good didn't quite anticipate how good it turned out to be. So um, yeah, very much looking forward to playing this. This is meant to be an FPS slash RPG sort of sci-fi horror game, I suppose. Maybe akin to games like System Shock 1 and 2, and if that's the case, it's going to be a winner in my book. So uh, yeah, I'm going to stop babbling and I'm going to start playing. Really do hope you enjoy it, but let's start a new game of Prey. And uh, that's going to be my campaign slot. Alright. Ooh, difficulty. Choices, choices. It's not going to be easy. And it's probably... No, it's not going to be Nightmare because nothing can save me, so... I kind of like the idea of hard. I guess we'll see how it goes, but here we go. Alright. Oh, I have a choice. Male or female? Well, I think I'm going to be M... Oh, they're both MU. Alright, I'll, I'll be him. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Alright. Only a few years away, really, isn't it? <laughs> Less than two decades. Nice place. Nice apartment. Wow. A nice view as well, by the looks of it. What's that? It's a phone? Hey, Morgan. All right. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's right. just a few tests. <laughs> that one? Don't forget to wear your suit. The suit, your suit. right. Oh, okay. Listen, I'm uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're going to shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. All right. Well, that was uh, that was Alex Yu. I guess my dad, member of the family at least. Nice. Okay. First day on the job. I was given an objective, so I should probably open my transcribe. Is that the thing I just picked up? All right. That's a transcribe. Right. I see. Uh, get in the helicopter on the roof. I see. Okay. Let's just go through all of this. Okay. So objectives. That's pretty much covered. Inventory. We're not holding too much right now. Okay. Our oh, suit modification skill increases inventory size. Oh, these are all the locked slots over here, are they? I see. So it can be really quite big. And let's go over to data. Okay, we've got some subcategories. Notes, emails, audio logs. I like that. Research. No research. I'm not holding anything whatsoever apart from my suit right now, it seems, and this phone. So uh, there you go. Cool. And the helicopter's through there, is it? What's that? Is that a door? It. It is? It's a closet door, I see. <laughs> All right. Oh, we can just pick up random things as well, can we? And throw them around. Right, okay. <laughs> oh, and search things. Yeah, okay. This is all leading me to believe this is going to be a lot like System Shock or Bioshock, something like that. I guess I'll take all these things. Maybe I can use them. So, let's have a look. Is it... Oh, perfect. It is I for inventory. That's great. Material yield. Okay. So I can get materials out of this, or maybe sell them in some way? Alright, and what's this on here? Neuromod application instructions, okay. They should only be administered by certain Transtar technicians under controlled conditions. Subject may experience slight discomfort, swelling or redness of the eye shortly afterward. Which is probably why, well, both of the characters were playing with their eyes, I think looking into a mirror. So you got to remove the Neuromod. Oh, it goes through the eye socket, right, yeah. You gotta hold it there for five minutes, and then dispose of it. Wow, okay. Yeah, no wonder I'm playing with my eye. I think I would be. Really nice place, though. What's this? Alright, I, I guess I'm just gonna pick up as much stuff as I possibly can. Speech synthesis? Okay. Very fancy. I just... <laughs> I guess I was building a computer. Let's just put that down there. What's this? Frayed wire? This all kind of seems like shit, so maybe I'm not going to use any of it. Anyway, can I use my uh, my computer? Yes, I can. F Paradox. That's my password, is it? Okay. Uh, no thanks, tutorial. I think I've got the hang of this. Email, files, and utilities. Let's start with email then. Alright. Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official work day is Monday, March 15th. But first, we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. 
Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight and I'll see you soon. And that's from Thomas Tucker. Delivery of something? Oh. Uh, hey, I sent a package with everything. Uniform transcribe and the Neuromod. Oh, I guess I've already installed the Neuromod. Yeah, which is why I was playing with my eye. I'll be in touch. That was Alex, was it? Okay. And Alex again. All right. <laughs> she says you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mum. That's mother's for you, I suppose. All right. Uh, I suppose I should probably just leave. But I, this, is, this is really, really nice. Very nice indeed. So we got the bathroom here. Wait, what was that? What? Sorry. I can carry the couch. With leverage 3. I guess I don't have leverage 3 right now, which is why it's red. And I can climb? Oh, okay. Well, that beats just simply jumping. <laughs> I'm already pissed off with the game. Right. Okay, search the cabinets. Nothing in there. I have to say, I like the UI. I like all the interactions we can make. This is really nice. And we can even <laughs> climb into the sink like a cat or something. Okay. What do we got here? Drink, I guess. And we have statuses. That's great. So, am I... Yep, I'm actually pissed. It's blurry and I can't walk straight. Right. I probably shouldn't be doing that. This is my stuff, after all. You know what? Let's just get to that helicopter, shall we? Okay. Morning, Mr. Yu. Morning, Patricia. Okay. So there's sprinting, crouching... Oh, really? Oh, nice! Oh, it's just like fear, and wow, that lasted quite a long time as well! Alright. <laughs> okay, in here? Yeah, looks like it. Helicopter. Roof or my floor? <laughs> Not really much of a choice, but yeah, sure. Okay, there's leaning left and right as well. Brilliant. Nice. That was a pretty fast lift, too. So, okay. Is, is there lock picking or something in this game, I wonder? Maybe I can get around locked doors. Oh, wow. Very fancy looking helicopter. <laughs> yeah, that's bored. Must be one hell of a job if I'm getting a helicopter to work. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. <laughs> That's a nice way of doing it. Why not? degrees. Clear skies all the way. Cool. Very cool. <laughs> and this is in 2032, is it? Just like 15 years away. Uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. Although I don't exactly know where this is meant to be. Wow. This really doesn't feel like a helicopter. Nope. That's a nice view on the bay there. Yes, yes it is. Don't worry, I'm not missing the studio name. <laughs> Credit where it's due and all that. Arcane Studios. Good stuff. This is luxurious. All the leg room in the world. Ah, look at that. Nice little detail. Oh, this is it, is it? Pray. There you go. I don't think this game has any relation to the 2000 and... Was it 2005, 2006 game called Prey? I mean, this certainly isn't Prey 2. I think they pretty much just took the name. That's all. Here we are, Mr. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Great stuff, really. The test center? Okay. Let's uh, let's go to work. <laughs> what the hell is this? Hello, Dr. Yu. Hello. Floating science operator thing? I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Alright. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. I certainly hope not. 
That's the shuttle. That's Talos 1 up there, is it? Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, so... What do Welcome, I have to go? Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. That's creepy. <laughs> I guess I was being scanned. Uh, again, not much of a choice. You're right, though, I think. Wow, the lifts in here are incredible. Like, no real G-force or anything? How'd they work that out? I mean, my feet are still... Yeah, they're still... <laughs> they're touching the ground still. Morgan! Ah. Finally! Alex. Brother. You got the extra large version, did you? Hey there. Hey. You don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. I wish I could say this. I? Still red? Mm. I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a new family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen. Just be yourself. I'll see you after. Okay. Where are we going? Dr. Yu. Ah. Okay, here we go. Testing rooms. Sounds good. What was that? Was that like a texture glitch or something? <laughs> it might have been. Right. Hey, yeah. Hi there. No? Do I just keep going? Good morning, what? Morgan. Oh, right. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Hello. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Mm -hmm. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Right. Just go with your gut. These are the boxes, okay. are they? Wonderful. Right, okay. Press the red button when you're ready. That's the button back here. Yeah, seems to be. Oh, quickly, quickly, come on. Just fucking throw them. <laughs> Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B. Then. Am I? Wait, wait. What have you got on that tablet of yours? What does it say? Look at that thing over there. Right, uh, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> Test room B. Alright. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. Oh, shit. I'm I'd trying like to sit to down. Do best to hide in this room. Oh. Take your time. Hide. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. <laughs> uh, yeah. How could I possibly hide? There's a camera here. I could maybe... Yeah, if I stand right under it, it probably couldn't detect me. Morgan, we can see you there. How the hell am I going to hide from them? Is that... Well... <laughs> okay, let's try it. <laughs> so I crouch and <laughs> hopefully nothing can see me if I'm standing right here. <laughs> hmm, uh, no. Any synaptic register at all? Are you saying I'm stupid? No. How could I have done That's that? Fine. Sorry. Let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvellous. I don't feel like I'm doing marvellous. He looks somewhat disappointed. Oh dear, okay. Another button, yep. Yeah. One over here as well. Alright. Here we go. It's a great For way to do the test, tutorial, I have to say. Please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can. Right. In the most natural, intuitive way possible. Without thinking. Just, just go for it. Uh-huh. Press the red button when you're ready. This one? Yep. Simple. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? What's your problem so, now? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. <laughs> I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. I'm sure. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Okay. Alright. Am I meant to be able to do things another way? I... Right. Can I sit down this time? Or... Ah, right. Now, it... now we are actually Please, sitting down. A coffee. I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. I worked out my own little monitor at home, Wonderful so this should be no job. different. Take a look at the screen in front of you. Okay. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Cool. Press start on the screen when you're ready. All right. Let's do it. Okay. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar, you know, you love, or try something Whenever new. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. Let's try something new. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Okay, there's more. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Afraid, angry, or calm? <laughs> it was worth it. Well, uh, uh, I guess one of these two, probably. Uh, let's say A. Ooh, probably B, actually. Heavy stuff. Kind of is, isn't it? A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. Right. So I can save five people by killing one other. Um, yeah, I've seen variations of this before. Uh, I switch tracks. Sorry. <laughs> Good. Next. Okay. Runaway train again. Yeah, also bearing down on five people. Uh, where is this train and where are these tracks? Just stay away from this area. Anyway, I'm standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him into the track will stop the train. Okay, well, again, it's it's kind of a, you know, a one for five, so... Sorry. Almost done. That's kind of malicious, but, eh. Uh, okay, again with the train. Uh, you, okay, let's see. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. <laughs> Push the fat man. He's not even involved this time, but, um, I guess, yeah, jump on the tracks. Wow. I'm impressed. Yes, thank you. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. Okay. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good right. look at it. Whoa. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... What the... Is my coffee? No. It's empty. No. Whoa! Nice! <laughs> Forget that! Oh, Jesus Christ. Whoa. Do you see his... Something happened to his head. That was fucking weird. And I'm out of it. I don't think I could have got out of there. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Alex seemed unusually calm. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Again? Wasn't that the date before? It's the same song. Okay, something's going on here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, pick that up. I'm going to receive a, a call from Alex, right? No? Not this time? Okay, let's put the suit on. Just like I did before, I suppose. Hmm. What about... Wait, all that stuff? Nothing in my inventory anymore, no. Okay. Wait, okay, so we got suit chipsets and scope chipsets. This is new. Psychotronic skill unlocks more slots. Right, so there's going to be, like, skills in this game as well, by the looks of it, which is pretty awesome. And I see, yeah. Very cool, right. I'd pick these up, but I think I'm going to lose them anyway. No helicopter flying from left to right this time. Let's just get out of here. Okay. Whoa. That <laughs> wasn't just a dream. What have we got? Oh. Oh, right. Uh, uh, okay. We've got a wrench here. Ah, brilliant. Our first weapon. Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. That's what that doctor's face looked like after the thing. I think they're called mimics. Yeah, after the uh, the mimic attached itself to his face. Okay, 
Well, it's not going to be that way because the lift isn't that way. Through here? No. What about the other door? No. All right. This is all kind of strange, isn't it? Okay, so what's that flashlight symbol about? Do we actually have... Oh, it seems we do have a battery life in it. I think it might be slowly going down. Yes, it is. It is. Okay. Can we go through here? No, E is definitely not used. I'm trying to lean through the fucking thing. What? How, how does that work? Oh, wow. Oh, this is all a facade. That's incredible. What the... Breakout. Sim... I'm in a simulation lab? I was a lab rat? What the fuck? Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. Whatever is three, holy contact. shit. <laughs> you can climb like a hell of a lot as well, it looks like. Okay, what do we got? Emails and utilities. Utilities? Audio events, a wake up call. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Oh, god damn. See you soon. Oh, listen, I, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. If you've been on branches of our main product line, you know that sometimes we need to put in extra effort to hit our milestones, and any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. Wait, I requested it as well? Uh, it's, right, I'm just going to have to get used to that. It's not E to use, it's F. I've been playing all these other games where E is used, but it's just leading on this game. There you go. Uh, a note about this morning. I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. Alex Hugh again. Right, he obviously knew a lot more than I did. Okay, and that's that. There's a note here. Wait, right. Oh, activity log for me. Takes shower, puts on uniform, exits the apartment. And that was February 23rd, not 23rd, <laughs> of the 2035. What? Wasn't it 32? So the the date's not real either. That okay. This is very strange. I don't like being a lab rat, really. <laughs> I really don't. Okay, I'm just gonna pick loads of stuff up, right? I mean, why not? Soundstage rules. Yeah, sure. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, I'm glad I picked up the wrench. Let's take a couple of these with me, just in case I don't want to get pissed. Why not? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, so the corridor as well. But you? You're real? I guess a mimic got a hold of you. Um, okay, yeah. This is, uh, this is pretty cool stuff, honestly. What the? Hold on. <laughs> I really don't like that. So, I think they're called mimics because they can... Well, yeah, they can mimic things. That's it, that's it. It was the box. Oh, fuck that. I'm just closing the door. Sod you. You can be the lab rat. Let's go around here. This is really quite brilliant, isn't it? Wow. Oh, yeah, okay, so it's a door that folds. Jeez. So how long have I actually been in there? Doing the same thing over and over again. That's kind of incredible. Right, yeah, yeah, simulation allows. Let's go this way, shall we? What have we got? Simulation debriefing. What do I keep hearing? The safe code? Where's the safe? <laughs> that's the thing. Can these things actually turn into pretty much anything? Because if that's the case, what can I trust? <laughs> oh, this is the safe, is it? I see. The debriefing safe, yeah. What's that? Hacking 3. Oh, okay, so there's a hacking skill. Is there a lock-picking skill as well? I don't know. 
No. Password. Oh, there's the password. Fair enough. So... Oh, I don't need to type it in myself, just because I know it. There you go, I can log in as Marco Simmons. Or I guess hack in as well, maybe. Email, go on. Um, <laughs> password protection. Do not share your password with anyone. Certainly don't put it on a post-it note and attach it to the monitor that you use. I know about this morning, I think that's... Yeah, it's the same one. Everyone got that, I suppose. A bad install? The test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct neuromods? Touch base with Graves and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority, and that's Alex, right. So, I think the neuromod that I was meant to install, and I think I did install into my eye, was meant to give me powers, I guess. Give me the ability to do things in a different way than the, than the way I did them. Marking this entire SKU is defective. Investigate with fabrication. All right. Let's just get out of here, shall we? This is, uh... <laughs> this is really good. This is very good indeed. Okay, so yeah, you can swing it and you can hold it to uh, charge it for maximum damage. And they will drain my stamina. Right. Right, they are. Do I want to go through that door? Go on. Wait. You're using my bed, you cheeky bastard! Right, I probably shouldn't be like swinging wildly, actually. I don't know how powerful this thing is. It seems to be pretty devastating to the other guys. Wow, okay. Wow, alright. There you go. A Typhon organ. Mimic, Jimmy. Yeah, that mimics. That's it. They're called mimics. <laughs> right. So here we are through here. Exit. Oh, of course, that as well. Transtar. That's my pilot. I was wondering about that, actually. It didn't seem like there was any room for a pilot, but I thought that might have just been, a, like, a, an AI. This is the flight simulation. Fucking hell. This as well. So it's all part of the same shit. The lift? Does it even work? No. That's why it was going down so fast and I wasn't getting affected, because it wasn't moving. Christ. Alright. Through here. Go on then. Ah, in fact, I might want to use that right now. So... Actually, yeah, let's have a look at that. Quick select and stuff. Oh, yes, I did have a brief look at the controls before I started and everything. So, right, so we've got a bit of a wheel for our weapons and stuff. And, of course, things are assigned to the, uh, the hot bar at the bottom. Plus, if I press E, it looks like I can use my med kit. I don't know what Q would do. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's like the Psy or something like that. <laughs> Maybe this is really going down the System Shock 2 route, which it kind of seems to be. This is, a, this is a very good thing. A couple of utilities. The rooftop entrance. Oh, of course. So the guard was in on it as well. He was doing all this, probably. Okay, test management. Test rooms affected A, B, and C. Okay, let's go in, shall we? Is there still a mimic round here? Oh, God. Right. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep you in there. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Yeah, I'm getting that, actually. You're coming through, aren't you? There you go, son of a bitch. I guess you just gotta sort of time your attacks and that's how you uh, take him out. Jesus Christ. Okay, what do we got here? I wanna check everything. Hopefully, I'm not going too slow for you guys, but yeah, hopefully, you don't mind this. Morgan's behavior. Alex has requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan. Nor do we. Granted, Morgan had forgotten everything from the last test as expected, but the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we start charting personality drift before future tests, in debriefings, and within the test itself. <laughs> Alright, I see. Monitors are protected, are they? Probably a good thing. Because I am pretty fucking frustrated right now. Alex. Ah! Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. 
got it. Hmm. You didn't clean that up, did you? Be careful what I pick up, yeah. What about those? What about the, the transcribe things, the audio recordings? Can they be mimics as well? I don't know what to trust, and that's kind of awesome. Decontamination? Is that door real? I <laughs> Probably. Let's go uh, Let's go to the control room, though. I kind of want to get invested in this. I want to see, uh, you know, how big of a, a project this, this was. And it looks like it was a fucking huge one. Oh, we got another dead body. Again, the, the head affected. Looks like a shriveled prune or something. A, a Methuselah apple. I, I guess we'll just outright eat that. Okay. Is that status well fed? Something like that? Okay, to reset the simulation. Alright. Son of a bitch. Although, we got the view of the skyscrapers and everything. How did that work? Maybe it's the LG... Oh. Oh, I see. They're all screens as well. Well, I was fooled. I thought that view of the bay really was the view of the bay. There you go. Wait. Ah! Jesus Christ! Fuck you! Fucking... Oh! Okay, that was pretty awesome. I was hearing something. Was that the mimic? It was like a, a ticking or, or a clicking or something, but I thought that was... I don't know what the fuck I thought it was. But it stopped now. Stop twitching! <laughs> I like that uh, I can take things if I get necropsy. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? What's that? More used plastic tubing, frayed wire. Is any of this stuff useful whatsoever? I mean, really? Wait. It's used to fabricate neuromods, this one, so that might be good. Yeah, I guess I could use some of this, maybe. Is, maybe there's going to be some sort of crafting? I assume so. Damn, oh damn, oh damn. Alright. Alright, let's go through uh, the decontamination area, shall we? I'm going to assume that's a real door and not swing my wrench at it. <laughs> maybe I should just sort of hold back, just in case. Oh! Get it off! <gasps> Just sucks the life out of him. Ooh, that was so quick, too. Whoa. Four of them? That's how they breed, is it? No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Sure. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so one went in there, one went right. Okay. Oh, boy. Where did you go? I just don't know what to trust. I'm attacking plants now. Right, I'll take that, just in case. The shoes? Yeah, those? I don't know. What was that? Carry? You can carry loads and loads of stuff. Looks like if I want to carry heavy things, I'm going to need this uh, leverage stuff. Right. There we go. This is what I'm after, really. Oh, that was the dead guys, was it? Got a few emails. Yeah, next week's tests. Configurations are as follows. Area of effect. Copycat and a spooky action. Spooky action. Okay, this one is urgent though. Bellamy's taken data related to the mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department. Get to the trauma center and grab the keycard to his cabin off his body. I'm sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose his shit if someone else finds that data. Alright, so that is now my objective. To search for Bellamy's corpse in the trauma center. Alright. Will do. I like that. I can search for the keycard or find an alternate path. It looks like there might be a, a a vent or something up there. More options will become available to you. Yeah, there it is up there. Really cool stuff, honestly. Okay. There it is again. Can you hear that? I'm going to make sure the audio's, you know, up pretty high. It's like a ticking. <laughs> Son of a bitch! That's it! That's it! It's the ticking! That's the giveaway! Hang on. Let, oh, I think there's something around here. I don't think it's an office worker. What? I was going to say there's too many boxes. That's it. There you go. Wait. What, oh, what was that status? Something pretty bad. Affecting my heart. And it looks like my arm has gone down. Okay. I guess I'm going to need a new suit or learn how to repair the suit pretty soon. So up here we can just, yeah, we can climb or open it up. I want to search for the keycard, honestly. 
Let's see, so this is uh, this is Dr. Bellamy's room. Wait, hang on. That's it, that's the key card. Great. Personality drift results, right? Oh, the these are all the questions and the answers I gave, right? Yeah, switch tracks, push the fat man. <laughs> Daily tests. Yeah. Really cool. Really, really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I know mimics can be as small as that as well, so maybe I should just destroy all cups. Maybe I should just destroy everything. Caleb? And Alice. What about Alice? Wait, hang on. What the... Yeah! <laughs> Wasn't sure which one it was, but I knew there was something up. Oh, It's like a special attack or something if you charge it up. This one? Simulation question. Okay. Looks like there is a hell of a lot to read if you do want to read everything, but I'm just going to give you a brief glimpse. Hopefully you can read it. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can catch up a little later on. <laughs> so you can just carry the filing cabinet around? Yep, why not? Why not? Anyway, let's go through here, shall we? Nice. What the hell is that? That's a big one. Whoa! Okay. Phantom. Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Keep uh, moving. Let's just call it Phantom, shall we? <sighs> Skill record. Okay, we can't go that way. Another Methuselah apple. Yeah, I'll take it. I might eat it later. Let's follow the blood, shall we? Whoa, whoa. Hang on. What's this? Oh, a control panel that I can repair. So there's repairing skills as well. There's a mimic there, though. I can see it. Hang on. Hey, whoa, right, oh. Looks like it was frozen or something. Is that a gun? A glue cannon, alright. Ah. Thanks, Veer. Oh, thank you very much. What did you have on you then? Oh, okay, let's see. Okay, it disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them, just as I saw. It can extinguish flames. Wow. And be used as a climbable platform as well. Very nice. A suit repair kit, shotgun shells, a med kit, and loads more glue. So I can climb on this stuff as well? Yes, I can. Oh, God, yes, hang on. <laughs> what have we got here? Up here? Wait, there's a dead body as well. Who's this? Natasha. Sunburst banana pudding and more glue. Wow. Uh, oh, shit, hang on. Mimics. There, in the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Over there? Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. You're probably right. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. When did I do this? When did I make the other request as well? This is... I'm Morgan, right? I, I am Morgan you. So I need to get over there, obviously. Pick up the neuromod. Let's take care of the mimics, shall we? All right. Great. All right, let's freeze them all, then I'll go down and, and wrench them, I suppose. I don't think this kills them outright. Oh, wait. Oh, you broke free? Oh, I guess you need to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's a time thing as well, it looks like. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, I wish I'd figured that out a minute ago. There you go. I think I do, like, double damage if they're frozen in that stuff. I saw more than two, though. I think I saw maybe three, four. Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's good stuff. It really is. Okay. I'm listening out for that sort of ticking sound. And that's the water dropping down. That's not that. Conference room? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. There is something. Something in that direction, near the Neuromod. Oh, dead body. And another transcribe? Wait. Yes! There you go! Okay. <laughs> I feel like I've I've got a victory or something every time I determine what object it is. That's good stuff. Really, really cool. Anyway, yes. Yes, sir. Uh, 
Let's just go into the inventory. I guess it's like a pause menu as well, isn't it? So, data. I think there was a button or something I could hit, but I, I didn't do that, so... Someone's coming. Yeah, let's play it. Robert? Alice! Thank God! No one else! Yeah, nice. Where are you? Hiding! I'm in the conference room! I, I can't... Jesus! You're still in the lab? I can't get out! There's... What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone... Oh. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption, but I got one of these neuromods, which I think give me abilities. Yes, yeah, skills and abilities. All right, I'll get to that in a moment. Robert? Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming. Okay. I think I saw one go this way. Did I not? Yes, I did! Two of them? Oh, good Christ! I'm getting wrecked! Oh boy. Alright, <laughs> let's get back up here, shall we? In fact, you know what? I picked up a couple of medkits. They're instantaneous. They're instantaneous. Lovely stuff. There you go. Alright. I'm gonna have to get sort of in tune with this game and suspect everything. Just walk around like a real paranoiac. Alright. Okay, so, uh, it was N, I believe, for the Neuromod stuff. Yes, it was. Alright, so it looks like this is our sort of skill tree. Scientist, engineer, or security. I don't know how many Neuromods there'll be. Maybe we can only really sort of go into one. But maybe not, I'm not sure. I guess if you could let me know about that, that'll be really much appreciated. Um, let's see then. So the one I can go for... Increases my health to 115 and my stamina to 105 and I can run, sneak, climb and sprint 5% faster. What about engineer? Repair. Okay, so I can fix things. That's probably quite useful. This. Leverage. Also, to lift heavy objects. Oh, and thrown objects will damage enemies as well. What about scientist? That seems to be quite a, a small one, really. Okay, medkits increases to 150%. Judging by how that last combat interaction went, uh, maybe that's one I should go for. And this is hacking. Right, I see. Just have interest. What other sort of end games? Okay, this one's all about the hacking, or at least this part of it is. Engineer. There's quite a few. Right, okay. I'm thinking we could probably dabble in all of these. We don't really have to spec into security or engineer or a scientist. I think you just sort of pick and choose. That's nice there. And security. Something to do with health. Health, 300. Natural lifespan increased by 75 years. All right. And all these sneak attacks, stealth, combat focus. I see. Right. They all look pretty interesting. They really do. In fact, I might just... I'll hold back because I don't know which one to go for. Maybe I'll ask you. Maybe uh, I'll take your advisements under consideration. Hmm... Or, maybe I should just say, scrap that idea, and maybe I should just go for, uh, what was it? Engineer, I think I saw. Was it this one? No, that's repair. Leverage. Leverage one. The top one was leverage one. Let's acquire that. I want to lift heavy things. I want to be the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh. We don't hold him out. Oh, no. No. Yes. That's how it works. So I held that in for five minutes, and now I know how to lift things. That'll be useful if you run into barricades or doors with no power. Right. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hang on. So I can just pick this up? Yes, yes, I can! Oh, hang on. Oh. <laughs> Hold on a minute. That was leverage two, wasn't it? Yeah, it was leverage two, which I can't carry, but I can move them with other heavy objects, it looks like. So there you go. Oh no, I was trying to like zoom in and out with it. I guess I can throw it. Right, tell you what. Just want to try and get this out of the way, really, so I can explore. Can I get through? I mean, I could probably just... Yeah, I can slip in. Sure. Can I slip out? No, that's where it becomes a little bit of a problem. Anyway, what have we got in here, then? 
Okay, a med kit. All right, so that's my reward for doing that. And Gluc assist. Okay. And what the fuck is Gluc assist? All these things, I'm just picking them all up. I don't really know what they do. Restores five health points, that one. Okay. All occupied, eh? <laughs> Which of these toilets is going to be fake? It's going to be one of them. Hmm, maybe not. What's that? A used cigar? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I think I'll just collect everything I possibly can until I run out of inventory space. Nothing in there? No? So how the hell are we going to get out? Have I actually got myself into a, like a really shitty situation here? What about if we pick this up? I guess it's not that heavy, so it's not really moving it very well. No. No. Oh, god damn. Hey, hey. What's that? Was that the trash can attacking me? May have been. We can't pick up a toilet or anything. Though. We can flush them, though. Oh, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Climb? That works? That works? Oh. I didn't see that prompt before. Silly me. <laughs> silly, silly me. Well, the reward for going in there wasn't great, so I kind of wish I held back the Neuromod, maybe spent it elsewhere, maybe in combat or with the medkits, but I'm sure we'll find others. Oh, the favourites where we at? I've already been, uh, I've already been introduced to that, don't worry. Fantastic. Okay, and what's that? Skill recording room yet. Can't go in there, apparently. So it looks like we're going through here. Talos 1. So, wait, we're, we're already on board, Talos 1? Ah. This does really have a System Shock 2 feel, and because of that, I'm really enjoying it. Oh, jeez. Look at that guy. <laughs> you made it. I did. Somehow. Ready for your first real view of the world? Yeah, I guess so. Carry the briefcase. No, not like that. That's not how you carry a briefcase. Bloody hell. I've definitely got more power with my throws, don't I? Holy shit. Wow. So we're already here. That's Earth. This is Talos 1. This is Talos 1, alright. <laughs> This actually goes quite a lot deeper than I'd thought. Holy hell. Is that, is that just ejecting the garbage and stuff? Careful. You need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. I have many questions, but I think I'll save them for next time. So thank you very much for watching this first part of Prey. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back in the inevitable part two. See you then. I like all the interactions we can make. This is really nice. And we can even <laughs> climb into the sink like a cat or something. That's a nice view on the bay there. Yes, yes it is. Don't worry, I'm not missing the studio name. <laughs> Credit where it's due and all that. You don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. I wish I could say this. I. That's uh, You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B. Am then. I? I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? What's your problem so, now? I want you to take a good right. look at it. Whoa. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... What the... Is my coffee? No. It's empty. No. Whoa! Nice! I'm trying to lean through the fucking thing. What? So, I think they're called mimics because they can... Well, yeah, they can mimic things. That's it, that's it. It was the box. What? You're using my bed, you cheeky bastard. What about those? What about the, the transcribe things, the audio recordings? Can they be mimics as well? I don't know what to trust. And that's kind of awesome. I thought that view of the bay really was the view of the bay. There you go. Wait, ah! Jesus Christ! Fuck you! It's like a ticking. Son of a bitch! That's it! That's it! It's the ticking! Oh boy. Ooh. We don't hold him out. Oh, no. No. 